What's up guys, welcome back to Bush to Beach Outdoors. We're in sort of the South Gippsland area and we've driven up here. We actually came up last night, it was, the storms were pretty bad, but so it was a slow drive up. It was rainy, you couldn't see much. Um, we got me in the 80 today, Jace in the Hilux Surf, and Jono in the GQ. Jace's surf that you can see behind me, He's uh he bought that off Jono. Jono actually crashed that a few like oh good five years ago. Jace bought it off him for three hundred bucks and has slowly been doing it up, and it finally got the old clear from uh, Vic Roads a couple of weeks ago. So this is actually his maiden trip out in the surf. So it'd be good to test that on the sand a little bit later. But um, I don't know if you can see over there, but the boys are getting into the surf fishing now. So this is the uh, surf fishing setup we got. We're gonna get a gazebo and everything going later because we're expecting a bit of rain today. But basically, the three rods all got sort of Pananostas set ups with poppers and whatnot, a couple of double Pananostas. And yeah, gonna try a lot. Surf fishing is probably the, um, the type of fishing I've done the least. We used to, as a kid, go out on the boat all the time, and nowadays, heaps of freshwater stuff. So we're still learning the ropes with this massively. But last time we came down, we got a couple of um, rock cod, caught a few salmon in the past. So hopefully, today we can get some flatties, maybe some gummies later. <laughs> Jace has got one hand at the moment as well. <laughs> Athlete. The body of a So Jace, um, since last time we went fishing for trout, he still is yet to catch a fish, but the other day he did catch two squid. So I don't know. It's what do you reckon? Does, yeah. does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Jace has got his first fish! <laughs> Bring it in! Get it out of the water! In! Oh, he's got a nice bloody! Get it out of the water, Jace! Yes! That's only 10 minutes in! He's done it! You beauty! That's a beautiful flood out. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice 35. Yes, Jace! Finally! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes. There's shit underneath uh, the skin. All right, all right, hang on. So, flatties have spikes on the back. Oh. So you gotta be careful. You wanna grab it by the lip and then like the very tail. Mostly just the lip. They'll bite on your thumb a little bit, but that's okay. It'll bite a bit, but it'll be, it'll be okay. Put your thumb right in there, Jace. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. Make a nice shot. Yes, Jace. Yes! <laughs> Woo! So good. That's so Oh, that's unreal. First fish ever. And reel in. Johnny's on. Feel it fighting? <laughs> Something hit it real hard. Walk in a bit, Johnny, as well. Get a bit closer and take all that slack up. Yeah, I've got it. Bloody oath. <laughs> oh, what's out there? This could be a nice salmon or something. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna tire him out. I'm gonna tire him out. I'm watching the mine doesn't go off too. Oh my god. Yes, Johnny. Chase. There he is. Oh, it's a salmon. That's a beauty. Yeah! That's fine, that's fine. It's just under oh, my arm. Yeah. That's a beautiful... Yes! Yeah. 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 yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys could tell, but we're pretty stoked about uh, getting just a couple of fish. Because two times ago we only got two fish and we had woeful weather when we were here. And last time we didn't fish that much, we ended up drinking a lot and um, we didn't get anything. So we're stoked because that's been, what do you reckon, 45 minutes? Yeah. Maybe an hour of like fishing. And we've already got, uh, and it's still early in the day, we got a, a nice flatty and a nice salmon. Um, the salmon's been bled out so we can eat it tonight. But uh, yeah, the target species were flatty salmon and then gummies at night. So if we can uh, get a couple more salmon and flatties 
and then maybe get a, a gummy on some eel later tonight. That would be everything we, we wanted to get. So, yeah, we're wrapped so far. So I haven't really talked about what the, um, the whole plan for this weekend is, but um, me and Jace have actually got three days off and Jono's only got the two off. So we're actually gonna do a bit of surf fishing for the first two nights. And then me and Jace are actually gonna boot up to Lock Sport. And there's a whole area up there that I haven't really checked out. Bunch of campsites, bunch of four-wheel drive tracks. So gonna do a bit of exploring, a bit of a recce for the future. And also that way we can fish on the surf beach side and on the estuary side. Um, but yeah, next two days, basically just sitting here, cooking food, having a few beers, and trying to catch as many salmon gummies and flatty as we can. Since we caught those two, the uh, the one salmon and the one flatty this morning, we have had absolutely nothing since. It's probably been, I'm gonna say like four or five hours. And yeah, haven't had a fish on since then. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna go do a bit of a wood run, get a fire going so that we can sort of settle in for the night, get our food on the fire. And then we'll come back and probably start um, trying for gummies. Why did we go this way? No, it's not I in there. I literally said I'd, I'm going left. It's not even in there. So, <laughs> let me get out. I'm still driving once we get out. Let me tell you guys the story of how we ended up in this situation. <laughs> that looks bad. Not that bad, but it looks bad. We tried to go on a simple fire run and we got about 100 meters. <laughs> We are stuck. <laughs> so basically, because uh, Jace's surf has been struggling to get into low range, or get once it's in low range, struggling to get into gear. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> well, I said, oh, why don't we go on the fire run? How about you drive the 80 so you get used to actually driving off road? Blah blah blah. And then we came to this. I don't know if you guys can see this fork in the road. And at first I said, Jace, go right. And then halfway down it, I saw how steep this part was. And I said, no, 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 turn around, turn around, go the other way. And what, what did, quote Jono, have you never four wheel drive in your life from the back seat? He's like, you'll be fine. Just go first low and crawl it, which was a terrible idea. He obviously couldn't see how deep this left bit was. So Jace went straight up it with no speed. And now that's how stuck the front wheel is. So we tried the max track, but Jono's now going back to his car to uh, hook the snatch trap up to the back and pull me out backwards, because I don't have a winch. <laughs> Nothing to winch to anyway. <laughs> so there's, there's one person to blame for this, and it's not the newbie driving the car, it's, it's Jono for telling him to go up it in first oh, low. If anything, it should have been second low and give it the berries, but anyway, testing out the flex of the 80 now. So I think part of the issue is also clearance. I had a look and I'm massively <laughs> biffed out and you can see where I've been scraping on the way in. And that's where a bit of momentum, so going up to second gear instead of crawling it in first is probably going to help, but I don't know about the front diff, that also is probably buried. Yep. <laughs> so, beach on the front diff, beach on the rear diff, uh, right rear spinning and left front spinning so yeah pretty stuck but anyway at least it should be a nice simple snatch out the back Get out the way. Just bop it. <laughs> there is no way I was ever getting that. He doesn't need uh, 35. Uh, doesn't need max trucks. So I've taken him out. He is on 35s and in a pick of a car, so he'll probably be all right. It's on the 
seriously a bit boring. All right, so we've completed the side quest. <laughs> Jace is back in the driver's seat. You've been four driving with us heaps before, yeah. but it's just doing it yourself is completely so different to um, having someone do it next to you. So. Alright guys, we um when we checked the weather for this weekend, it was meant to be a bit of thunderstorms on the um on the Friday night and then good for the rest of the weekend. That has not been the case. I'm sure you can see the uh wind dripping through the gazebo behind me, but we've made do. We've got that blocking the wind, you can see it's acting like a sail at the moment though. Um, but that's blocking the wind at the moment. We've got our little fire down here. And then the fishing is currently on hold because it's full on short. And even if, if we tried to cast right now, you'd hardly get it two meters. So we're gonna wait for this wind to hopefully die off, get the, um, get the lines in again. But in the meantime, I don't know if you can see on that fire, but we've got a nice stew going. So it took me and Jason an hour or two to prep up, but that's sitting right in there. So hopefully that tastes delicious. After that, we'll probably cook up those salmon fillets and those spuddy fillets, have that for dessert. So even though it's average weather, good to be out here, eat some nice food. Getting guests completely winged this. Thanks, mate. Lemon. I need some lemon in my life. Alright, we've done a real quick pack up of camp because the weather is pretty horrible at the moment. The wind's been full on shore since last night when it flipped and um, we checked the forecast it's now not meant to switch back until tomorrow morning. So we're going to head off, um, go explore some estuaries in uh, towards Locksport. Johnny's got to head home but me and Jace will do some more fishing so we can pick up another flatty. So we didn't get too far on me and Jace's adventure to Locksport. <laughs> Noticed that Jace's tyre looked a bit flat and he's got a bit of a, a leak, so chucking the uh, the better tyres on anyway. Yeah, Johnny left us for dead, but that's right, we'll fix it and then we'll go be on our way to Locksport in a minute. A small issue. Mm -hmm. We um, were almost on our way as we went to tighten up the lug nuts. I don't know if you can see, but on these ones, there's a space and they don't go in any yeah. further. Yeah, they're, they're designed pulling. for an alloy. Yeah, so we're seeing if one of my lug nuts fit. And we might take one off each of my rims, so I'll just run five lug nuts and then one of these weird ones on there just in case. And um, yeah, we'll see if we can get to sale, get to a super cheap auto, get a tire repair kit, which now we know we definitely should have grabbed off Jono. And then pull that little nail out, fix the tire, and we'll be on our way. For them, it's going to take like 30 seconds. For us, it's going to take like three hours. <laughs> so, wheels are all sorted for now. Lugs in all different places. Now we're off to sail, and then we got to do it all again with the repaired tire. And on the side of the road and sail, fixing this tire, then we just got to rotate everything back around. Should be good to go. Puncture has been plugged. Okay. Hopefully that holds. Now Jace has just got to jack up the car. And we've got to redo all the um, wheel swaps and stuff again. It's probably noisy. That's what we mean. So I took off one of them on each wheel, put it on Jace's. All right, we are finally lugged up, back on the road, ready to go. So, Jace is behind me, and we're uh, on our way to Locksport, finally. Should be there in about 20 minutes and start checking out a few campsites and stuff like that. See if we can catch any fish, see if the prawns are running. Plenty of stuff we can do around here, so, should be good. All right, we've taken a little detour. Um, we found a little track that goes down to some, like, salt flats or something, and I, the 
purpose of this was just to explore. So we're checking it out, but we've ended up having to put in full drive to get through a little bit of a boggy section here. Um, but we, we really don't want to air down because we're going to end up going back on the highway. So we'll see how we go. You're we've got to crawl through a second here, I'm guessing that's what you plan on doing. We've got two cars, so, and a shovel, Max Tracks should be fine. So I've just seen an emu running away from us. I'm trying to, it was a fair way away, but. There he is. Oh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see him, but he's out there. Oh, a bit of water too. Oh, he's too far away. That was sick, there was an emu out on the middle of the track. The only issue is, I can't really follow him any further because this is boggy as and there's a lake in front of us. I might see if I can find him on foot. Is it soft though? And it's probably salt water. Yeah, let's, let's not drive through that. <laughs> this is so cool though. So we've left the car over there. But um, yeah, there is a track out here. The plan was to follow this right around and pop out somewhere else, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Oh, there's just, there's nothing to winch off. It's an awkward snatch back. It's not worth driving through there and getting stuck. So, but this is really cool. And I got to see an emu, which is pretty sick as well. I don't know if you guys could see it on camera because I was shooting in wide mode, but how sick is this? I thought this was going to be just a little salt flat and there's a full on lake out here. And the fogginess is like, surreal. Have you ever seen Interstellar? You know how they're still yeah. in the water and it's knee deep but it looks yeah. like an ocean? I just... Don't come down yet, just, just wait there for a sec. I swear to God, if your <laughs> is out, I'm going home. <laughs> Alright, I just drove down a campsite and I've never seen this at a site. I've told Jason to give his best guess at what's down here. Hmm, let's say... The button man. He's wrong. There are like a hundred beehives and bees everywhere. <laughs> Alright, come on down. Check it out for yourself. You better put your willy away before I get there. <laughs> called Spoon Bay campsite or something like that and it's unreal there's actually toilets here as well which is unheard of and perfect spot to like I don't know how deep it gets but drop a little boat um, do some fishing even swimming the water's a bit murky at the moment and the sky's also quite gloomy it'd look a lot nicer if the skies are blue but we got to do a little bit of bog holing on the way in Jace got here in two-wheel drive which <laughs> was pretty impressive so what do you reckon Jace you putting it in a uh, four-wheel drive on the way out Oh, that's a bit of fun in four-wheel drive. <laughs> but she was very close. Do you reckon you will put it in four-wheel drive? Four-wheel drive, no. no. You're just thinking in two-wheel drive? To get out of just that bit, yeah. yeah. I'm going to laugh if you get stuck. Oh, I will too. So we're still just enjoying checking out campsites and stuff. Um, we're sort of near Holland's Landing, um, I think it's called, near, near Locksport. And um, there's just been like so many campsites out here to check out. Some of them on the water, some of them just behind it. Um, so yeah, we're just checking out one or two more. Then we're gonna boost through Lock Sport and go to a campsite on the other side of Lock Sport, which I think is called Emu Bite or something like that. And then I think um, we'll call it a night from there, do a bit of fishing and all that. Um, but yeah, so far, even just doing these tracks is unreal. It's a, it's a really cool area and I reckon the fishing would be really good here too. It's just a shame that it's really like foggy and just muggy today. So not a normal um, Victorian summer at all. Like I've been down here in the, or this area in the past and it's just, you know, blue skies. So it's making the place look really uh, bleak, but I'm trying to picture it all with the blue sky instead. There's a nice kangaroo down at the end of this track here. We're at another campsite. I don't think we're close enough where this would be able to see it. Neither. He's massive. Oh, he's not, he's not huge. He's pretty big. It's not like he's a big red. Absolute. Oh, there he goes. But oh, hopefully let's see if it. he's on the beach, though. Oh, did he go into, there's no beach at this point. He's gone into the scrub. That's crazy. 
crazy how they can just disappear they can just into that into the abyss. You can just it. Still, this is sick. There has to be good brew fishing around this. Pro he's probably watching you. <laughs> well, okay. what you should do is pull your pants down, and if you hear something laugh in the bushes, you know he's watching. <laughs> So we drive, drove on corrugated roads for ages to get this emu bite site. It's now eight o'clock, so it's gonna get dark very soon. And you still can't access the beach from it, which is a little bit, or you, I think you can access it, but you can't fish from where you can camp. We wanna be able to keep an eye on our rods as we do everything. Um, but it's also a paid place, so we'd have to get online and get a permit. So I'm not sure if we might make the hike down to another site, or if we're just gonna get online and book but yeah, we'll see. Whoa. So this is the um, the beach down at a campsite. So we are just gonna pay for the permit for the night because it's too late and we, we wanna get dinner cooking and everything like that. So the plan is at the moment, we're gonna go back, cook some dinner, come back, probably be dark by the time we do that, but chuck some bait on and just sit here and have a fish for a couple of hours at night, see what we can get. Looks pretty shallow. So we need to give it a good flick, but but in saying that, when we used to go out, go out prawning in this kind of area, we would see monster flatties in like, no joke, like 40, 50 centimeters of water. Like it was no, no deeper than this. And like, I mean, monster flatties. So hopefully they are taking the bait. All right. So it's 11 o'clock at night. We've just sat down to have a fish. Um, we've got the lights set up, got our chairs, got the rods, everything. Um, just walked out into the water with the light and bar the bugs being all over us. There's heaps of little fish about and there's heaps of jumping going on. So hopefully that means some bigger ones out there too. Hoping there would be some big prawns or flounder around, but it only seems to be little shrimp. But um, yeah, see if we get a bite with some bells on. So we've had a couple of bites, um, nothing on though. We've been sitting here, what's the time actually? It's 12.30, so we've been sitting here for an hour and a half now. I reckon we've had what, three bites? Three to four, yeah. Three to four bites. Um, but yeah, nothing's really hooked on. And then, just as I was telling Jace how much I hate swans, <laughs> either a swan or it might have even been a pelican just started trying to take off and basically like running across the water and we were just sitting there like oh no it's gonna hit our lines it somehow missed Jason's line and then it smashed straight into mine and obviously a pelican is gonna ruin my line so I grabbed onto my rod but then it broke it free or something so I think it just snapped through it I'm hoping it didn't get hooked or anything but yeah, we are literally, haven't seen a bird around here for ages and it decided to plummet straight through my line. So yeah, gonna have to either retie or call it a night, we'll see. It's just gonna be pure hot dog and bread for breakfast. Or we catch a fish really early. I don't know how that's gonna help the hot dog situation. We don't eat the hot dogs. <laughs> but yeah, I'm down for that. We, um, we've just wrapped up fishing, it's two in the morning. Bunch of bites. One specifically large bite from a pelican. <laughs> Other than that, nothing. Um, we're knackered.